Hey guys, what's up, what's up, a game here. Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new mod, the Volvo VNR 2018. So, this is a new truck mod that was released a little bit ago, and I'm very, very excited to go and check it out. I love the look of this thing. It got a little metallic red going on with it. I kind of want to keep it, but, uh, yes, yeah, so let's go and take a look at some of the configuration options that we have, uh, in here. So, come on. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a day cab, the, that thing, and then a little bit of a longer but shorter. I kind of want to keep it with that. Um, we've got mid lift and all that stuff back here. I kind of just want to keep it, that looks so weird. <laughs> I kind of want to keep it, uh, I don't know what the difference is between these. Oh, okay. Um, and then we've got... Well, let's go for 600 horsepower as always and um this is going to be 18 with retarder beautiful interior i like it as standard black and i want to go back for my red i like that um all right now time for this we've got the mirrors here so we could do a paint that actually looks kind of cool with the chrome but i think black might be better I don't really like the mirrors on the front, so I'm... Um, oh, I can't get rid of them. Nope, you can't get rid of them. Alright, well, that's cool. So I guess we're gonna go and do both of them, um... Black, then. No. Oh, that is weird. They're inverted. <laughs> Alright. Um... That is that. We've got runner... I don't know what any of these things are. Oh, that's weird. No, we don't want that. Curlmaster element and runner. Oh, these are from Euro Truck. Yeah, I know these. Let's just do runner and then make it like a color where you can't really see the text at all. There you go. Alright, uh, use preset. No, no, no. Dang it. Got rid of it. Um. About right there might be good. There we go. Alright. Now we can go runner. No! Oh my god. I'm so bad. <laughs> like, seriously. Alright. Keep his preset. It's early, I'm sorry. I gotta get videos done. <laughs> Use free set. There we go, I did it right. Okay. Uh, we can do blackout rims. We could do, um, these things. I kind of like the darker ones, but yeah, I think we're gonna go for a little bit of, uh, that one. I kind of like the little bit darker and kind of shinier. Pretty neato, if you ask me. All right. <laughs> I don't know which ones are standard there. I think we'll have to keep standard in the front because I don't want to mess up the tires because they're a little bit weird with this model. But uh, what do we got here? A side mirror I don't need. Uh, these things, antennas. Oh, all right, sure. We could have two antennas. That kind of looks weird. I don't want that. Uh, that's on the interior. All right, so not much customization at all on the exterior, but I kind of like it the way it is. Uh, interior, we've got that. All of that. Um, that's all for that, that's all for that. Where's the, um, what is that? DVD. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you could actually play a movie. That's funny. Alright, I don't want to play a movie because I don't think I can actually go back there, so. Where's the uh, GPS thing I just saw? Mmm, I don't know where it is. There it is. Oh, it doesn't even show up. What the heck? Portable navigator. Might show up in the cab, I hope. Um, or maybe it's there. I don't know, I hope it's somewhere because I need that desperately. But yeah, that is about it, really. I like it a lot. Cool interior, too. Alright, we'll go and confirm that order. And, uh, I crashed into a thing coming over here, so that's all good. And, um, yeah, so <laughs> here is our new truck. Let's go and get out on the interior. And, uh, start her up for the first time, actually. <laughs> Nice. Very nice, very nice. Alright. Uh, interior. Yeah, I don't know where the stupid navigation thing is. It's not even in here. Dang it. Well, we're gonna have to use that then. I hate it so much, but... Alright, let's go and go here and, uh, customize our mirrors. Move my mirrors around. We've got the hood one now as well, so... I don't know what I want for that one. I'll just keep it as the same. Kind of closer and down a little bit. Sure. 
Number three, same thing, closer and then down. And then four, that's not what I want. Five is, needs to be the closer there. And then that's good. And then this one, this one is also good there. All right, beautiful. Now this, we need to go back a lot. Um, can I move that around? Yes, beautiful. All right, uh, H and then V to bring it out a little bit. There we go. All right, so now I can actually see the uh, thing there. My speed, my speed. And uh, yeah, all right, that's pretty much good, I think, for me. Yeah, now I can see my speed. Hopefully that works. It's nine. It's uh, <laughs> the temperature is going up very fast. I don't like that. It's 107. All right. Um, <laughs> that's a little bit concerning. All right, so let's go and get a job going real quick. We'll go and uh, open up not the map but this, and then Albuquerque. Let's see what's coming out of here. We've got petrol. No, I need something. Oh wow, yeah, I put in some new uh, trailer mods as well. I'm slowly getting in some cool stuff um, that hopefully we can go and uh, start experimenting with. But um, yeah, so all these are going. There we go. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to get that one's going kind of down south. That one's going up there. And sand might be good. So, ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's a, well. That's one of the new ones. A uh, wood load. We'll go and take that to Tuckumkari. Go and get that job, and we'll go and get out on the road. I love this graphics mod so much. You have no idea. Let's go and actually get this thing figured out as well. Go back a little bit. Um, I think we can go and move this down. Yes, beautiful. And we'll go and put that in a little bit more. No, and then what's the other button? G. There we go. G. And then B a couple times. There we go. All right. Um. The mirrors are always good, so we'll just go ahead and leave them that way and get out on the road. So, go and get out on the streets. But yeah, no GPS in here, which is unfortunate and very, very sad. So I'm going to have to keep that up the whole time, which I do not like. But unfortunately, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, I guess. Don't go! What are you doing? Thank you. Wow. Come on, man. <laughs> Jeez. All right, we're going to go and get uh, this way, make a left-hand turn, and go and pick up our job. I'm not sure where it is. I think it's in the other side of um, Albuquerque, and a train is coming. Well, now we got to wait for the train, so that's always fun, I guess. Not very long. Nope, not at all. <laughs> very short. All right. I'm going get oh my god, are you kidding me? They need to fix that. Yeah, because it's not all the way up, so the crash barrier still doesn't work. That's stupid. And look, another one's coming. Oh my god, no wonder. Is another one coming? I think it is. That's real good. I'm going to have to get into this lane here after this, so we're going to have to race this truck to get into that lane, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Am I right? I am. Come on. Be our light, please. But yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool truck. I like the interior. I really like the exterior. It's such a cool model. I like it a lot. There we go, buddy. Yeah, there you go. All right. Don't come in my lane, dude. Now I gotta have to cut you off. Come on. Come on, Bessie. Oh, you idiot. Trying to race me or something. Yeah, there you go. That's what you get. All right, cut him off. <laughs> Not letting me come over, and then I'm smashing up there and just nothing so all right let's go and get out on the freeway and uh be good to go so i love the new mexico dlc so so much it is absolutely awesome um i love all the cities with it and just it's really really cool all the stuff that they've added and everything i just love the freeway design it's so cool and the little wall there i like it i like it a lot very very nice area and the little scenery and everything with the houses it's very very nice i wish they would update california and stuff to be more like this and everything just more midwest i'm mean, not midwest <laughs> yeah this is totally the midwest um more west area of the uh, united states so all right we're gonna go ahead and uh come over this way and then we gotta get over 40 different lanes of traffic the freeway systems in albuquerque are insane there many of them are piled on top of each other but 
you know, I, if it, whatever works, am I right? So, yep. All right. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get down a little bit more here, but I like the scenery a lot because you can't drive down there, but they have AI cars driving, and it's all very, very realistic, and it's so cool. Um, and I'm very happy that they put all this stuff in, and it's a, it's a, it's a. This one, New Mexico, is one of my favorite DLCs. I think they worked very hard on this one. And I can see why it took, you know, 16 months to get out this one from Arizona, but still, we can probably do it a lot faster. Uh, like, seriously, but, you know, I don't know. They, they try and make it as realistic as possible, and uh, I respect that, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, and people gotta be uh, releasing some stuff here at a faster pace, but... Alright, Amazon trailer up there. Amazon Fresh. Amazon Food. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna go make a right, then another right, and then I think we'll be at our destination, if I'm not mistaken. But I might be mistaken, so don't take my word for it, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, I like this truck a lot. It really is a cool design, I don't know. The Volvo, you don't see many Volvos in the United States, because there's only a few. I think this is really the only model. This is a 2018, I've seen a lot of the other ones, but I think there's only one Volvo model that's really, um... They drive in the United States because everything else is way over in the UK with the flat front and everything. Why do you have to, guys have to stop so hard? Um, in the UK with the flat front and everything. Because that is a, uh, Volvo is really, I believe, a UK truck is where it comes from. But I probably am wrong. Because um, I know they make all kinds of stuff like lawn mowers and motors. And they make a lot of things. Um... Not just trucks, but I know they don't make many U.S. trucks, so I would think they'd start out in Europe, but I'm not 100% sure. So, if you know, of course, let me know in the comments down below. But, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> We're gonna go and turn this way here. I like that old, that's an older Volvo, actually, so, yeah. Because there's the FH16, and then this is the F, I mean the VRN. So that's two, and then that one back there was a really older one, which is going to be three. So I do believe that they have more, but um, it's just not many as the UK has. So I don't know. I probably am wrong, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just YouTuber. I speak mind. Okay. Uh, I way overshot that a lot. <laughs> okay. So let's get our job going on here. Possibly. There we go. And, um, yeah, so we've got this wood load. All right, cool. We've got a black one, a blue one, uh, another blue one, and a red one. I think we're going to go for the red one. No, let's go for the blue or the black one. Let's do that. I like it because it's very realistic. Because if you've ever driven on the United States roads, and then you see, uh, you see a truck with a flatbed, so the trucks with a flatbed, they're, it, it, I don't know why they do this, I would assume it's just weight distribution, but they're always bent in the middle. It looks like they're bending, and it looks like they're, like, all jacked up. So, um, you'll kind of see here this trailer, it's bent in the middle, like it is in real life. So, you can quick, you can really quickly do a Google search and find the trailers, and then they look exactly like this with a bent in the middle. I really don't know why it happens, I mean... It makes sense, though, because of weight distribution, kind of things of that nature, but, you know. So, why can I not pull back? Oh, no! Our thing's not big enough for this. Oh, that's not good. That's way too low to the ground. Maybe I should have got that different variant. Oh, no. That's interesting. Yeah, our little, uh, um, clip thing hits right on the trailer. So we can't get it. Wow. Interesting. Alright, well, we're gonna have to cancel this job. Um, <laughs> and then not take 40 screenshots. What the heck? There we go. Uh, <laughs> cancel this job and get a different one. So that's always fun. I don't want to drive at night. Come on. Game. No. Alright. So let's go and get a different job that we might be able to actually uh, get. Yeah, that's interesting. Good to know. Can't get it on this truck. Alright, probably. No, I want something that is not long, but new. So, um, forklift? No, that's a road roller. I think we're going to have to take this job here. 
I'm not close to it though, and I don't want to have to drive the whole length again. So, actually, we are closer to that one. We're gonna go ahead and take that one, uh, sand. This one I wanted to take originally too, but you know, oh well. Okay, holy cow. There we are. All right. Well, that was fun. Um, <laughs> good to know. Yeah. So that's one little downside of this already. You can't pick up the smaller trailers. Um, but it might just be my issue. It might have been that's why there's so many different colors and variants of it, or it's uh the model isn't very good on that sense. So you know, who knows? But it's uh didn't fit. So we're gonna have to go and get a. Uh, get a different trailer but I like how this thing drives already just from driving it a little bit I really do like um, the way it's driving and everything it's very nice very nice and uh, I feel like I'm floating in air but don't you do it he thought about it do you see him slam on the brakes he did it he, he was like oh no he was just gonna go for it man you can never go for never go for can't trust those gophers <laughs> all right See, that's an older vote, and that's not an older one. That's one for the UK. I almost hit that guy. But, yeah, we're going to go and try and get this, uh, get this trailer now. Um, ooh, somebody just honked with a train horn. Somebody doing train horn pranks up in here. My goodness. Uh, <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to go and uh, turn right here now. And we'll be good to go. The New Mexico, uh, police department, or no, New Mexico State Police, they use red and white lights, so they don't, not, they don't use blue, um, they just use red and white, which is very interesting, it's in, like, New York State Police, and, um, what's really cool is they did replicate it here in the game, so they do have all red lights, which is awesome, and whenever I was driving over earlier to start the video, driving over to the, um, to the truck dealer I did actually see uh, some ambient events on the side of the road a cop pulled over a um, a guy on the road so um, they are working and it is beautiful and I cannot wait to go and see some more hopefully I can catch it on film this time um, and have it in there so I really like that feature that they went ahead and made it's very very awesome and uh, I can't wait to see what else they've got I know there's like bunches of police things and there's like construction and everything so Alright, hopefully we can fit in this trailer. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to, but, you know, you never know, so... I just gotta make sure... I don't know where I'm going. I think this way. Yep, and around this way. And then in the back here, over the dirt. Alright, yep. We should definitely fit over that. That thing's way high. Alright, backing up. Going back up to get this trailer. Yeah, we'll fit. Alright. No. What the heck? Okay. Yeah, it is weird. It's not easy to get that little kingpin. That kingpin is way too high. Or it's not compatible with many trailers, so. Yeah, it's not going in. Oh god. It won't let me attach it. Wow, really? Holy cow, dude. This thing is so high and it won't let me attach it. Yeah, there's something wrong with the truck then. That's not good. Well, there you go. This model's really bad. <laughs> Come on. I can't get the trailer. Yeah. Good lord, dude. Whenever I was testing it earlier, I did get a trailer, so... Come on, man. There we go. Alright, holy cow. Good lord. Oh, <laughs> that took a long time. You just gotta shove it in, I guess. I don't know, man. Alright. Let's go and head on out of here now. With our sand that we damaged, pretty much. I wonder if we damaged it. No, we didn't. We just damaged the truck from backing up into it, but... Okay, here we go again. Pressing every single button known to mankind. That's not the right one. 
Yeah, we got our sand here, so that's always nice. We actually got our sand. Yeah, I would have loved to take that, uh, that flatbed, but... Probably in our single player if our truck will fit under it, but... <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be this, because this is a stock SESCS trailer, and, uh, it's not modded or anything, so it's gotta be the truck that's not compatible with fitting in very easily, but, I mean, at least we got it, so... That's always good. Hopefully it doesn't fall off on the freeway. Because that would not be too good, but... Alright, if you guys are just gonna stop, I'm gonna go, so shove it. Alright? Hate whenever they do that. Yeah, AI improvements much, ATS? No. AI improvements my butt. Give you something to improve. Jeez. Alright. And then whenever you have your blinker on, they always wait for you. And like, no. Just, no. Like, they don't wait for you whenever you're changing lanes. They don't give way whenever you're doing that. But if you're stopped at a red light and then you have your blinker on, they're going to stop at the middle of the intersection to give way to you whenever you have a red light because your blinker's on. So, it's really... It, I know what they're trying to do. It's just not working. So, clearly, they just need to uh, rethink that process a, a lot. But, you know. Oh, I thought we were going to get a fine because we rolled that mm, I don't want to go anymore though because we're probably going to get a fine so yeah we are way past the line I probably thought I was going straight because I'm kind of wow that guy got really close because I'm kind of in that lane but there's a lot of these uh, flat trucks for some reason yeah there's a lot of those Volvos which I'm not too happy about because there's a couple other mods that they wanted me to put in um, oh there's an accident over there Interesting. A couple other mods that I didn't. This isn't. This is a different profile that I have unlimited money on, so we ha we shouldn't have these issues in the other profile. Because there's a lot of other mods um, in the other profile for trucks and everything, but not. Doesn't look like they're working in this one because I've got some weird Volvo weather thing that it said I have to have, but I doubt it. So, yeah. All right. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get on the freeway now for like the fourth time over that now that we've wasted like 12 minutes we can actually go and get out on the freeway and do our job and see what this truck can do but um yeah we can go and look at our route here yeah it's just down to artisana i have no idea i think and uh union pacific so we're gonna speed because i well, there's lines all over this window i did not even realize that until now and I do not like it. <laughs> like, wow. Alright. Well, we'll go and get out on these streets now and uh, see what we can get into. Hopefully we can go and see some cool ambient events as well. And, um, yeah, that'll be that. So. Alright, but yeah, I'm gone this week. As I said earlier, I am gone for Thanksgiving. And I will be back. So all these videos are pre-recorded and everything. But, um, yeah, so no stream um this week at all no thanksgiving special or anything of that nature thanksgiving i believe is on thursday yeah thursday so <coughs> that'll be a doj episode so um there's nothing special that we're gonna do for it but um because it will be obviously pre-recorded but um yeah I like this truck a lot, um, just the downsides again are the, um, I don't know why everybody's, oh, yep, see there's an ambient event, he got pulled over, ha, truck pulled over, beautiful, um, but, dang it, what was I gonna say, um, I totally forgot now, mmm, I forgot, yeah, all these people are stopping, which is stupid, but, oh yeah, not doing anything special for the DOJ, because again, it will be pre-recorded, I don't think they're going to do anything special on Thanksgiving if people are going to be on, but, um, yeah, so, I need to get a lot of videos done for this week, and, um, yeah, so I am filming this on Saturday, and I do leave on, um, Monday, so, it's a, it's a big little process that's going on, but, Hopefully we can go and get everything good to go. So again, Friday it will be a ATSMP video, and um, uh, everything else is pretty much done. So I don't know why I tell you guys this stuff because it's not any of your concern. You just <laughs> get the videos whenever I upload them, and then you watch it and comment. So that's it. But <laughs> you know, 
that's just the process that I've got to do when we're getting off here. So let me go and do that jank maneuver. That was sketchy. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. But, yeah. I like this truck a lot. I do. I might put it in the single player if we get a new truck. I don't know. I'd like to get your guys' feedback as well on it. Do you guys think that we should be driving this truck on a daily to replace our Freightliner eventually? I'm not going to do it anytime soon, but if and when we do want to buy a new truck, will we want to go ahead and do that? Um, let me know in the comments down below and uh, replace it with this truck. But I'm going to go and get a thumbnail shot and then we'll be back out on the street. Alright, got that thumbnail shot. We are good to go. We're kind of on this little long stretch of road here that just uh, leads into nowhere, but... You know, that's always good. So we're going to stay on this road. It is a highway, I guess. That's a dirty little river. It is a highway, I guess, because uh, 65, we're going 72 because all the other cars are going fast. So, you know, if everybody else is going fast, we might as well do it too. Um, it's only it's only fair, right? <laughs> but, yeah. So, it is a double lane, so we could go and pass up people if we wanted to, which I probably will do eventually after... Traffic clears for this bozo who's going like 40. Oh no. He's been hit. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. I do apologize. I hit him. Uh, um, well, that's interesting. That's a odd crash barrier, but alright. We'll go ahead and uh, get back out on the streets and see what else happens i guess i feel this year has gone by very very fast i don't know why it might be the same for you let me know in the comments what your thoughts on that are but i think it is gone by very very fast for me especially um i mean it's already almost december and then it will be 2018 so it's it's insane how fast the year's gone by i know i've talked about this in the last video as well but i just cannot get over it man it's just it's just going by so fast it looks like it's about to rain our windshield wipers do work so if we need to go and initiate them that will be great but either getting nighttime or it's gonna rain and i think it's gonna be raining yeah that's definitely rain clouds oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot oh no <laughs> that was bad but yeah so it's gonna be raining here shortly i would assume we are gonna gas and everything so i'm just gonna keep uh going past this little area here what is the speed limit uh i don't know reduced it's down to 45 because there is a stoplight, so that is great. You just go and slowly coast on in here. Nice little engine brake there. And, uh, we'll be good. This is a very interesting van. I probably wouldn't choose that for my van if I had one and I wanted to get one. I wouldn't choose the light blue with a ugly two white stripes going across it. But, you know, whatever you want to... Come on, whatever you want to do, if you guys can actually move. Come on. Oh, he's going to hit that guy. What are you doing? You idiot. This guy, am I right? I'm going, all right? Because I'm not going to wait for you stupid people. Goodness gracious, people. Slamming on the brakes, like, holy cow. Look at this traffic. <laughs> oh my god. 13 FPS because of all this backup. How far does this thing go? Oh my lord. It's still going. Oh my god, I would hate to wait in this. And it start. I mean, it ends not down here still. Looks like it's ending at that blue car. And then we've got more coming down the road. That is insane, dude. Holy cow. I'd hate to be those people waiting in that line forever. Yeah, it's going to rain, hopefully. I'd like to see it rain because our trailer looks so dirty in the back. I'd like to see it rain. It looks like it, the sky is getting darker and darker by the second. So we'll go initiate a little bit of light. Um, but, yeah. All the things work and everything, which is good, but... You know, I mean, it's an okay model. Again, it is in kilometers. There's no speedometer thing. There is a time. There's no GPS. So that's a downer for me as well. Because um, I got to have the GPS. Just a couple other things, you know, just the little things. Lack of customization on the outside. But I love the look of it. And I love the interior. Just, you know, no 
everything, and it looks like they just put the uh, parking brake little triangle there, the yellow one, inside, or outside of the little thing, which is very lazy and looks stupid, but... I don't know, it might be like that in real life, and Volvo's just made it look stupid, but I don't, I don't think so, so. But, you know, other than that, I mean, it's an okay truck, it drives very nicely, I do like it a lot. Um, I like the blinker noises a lot, too. I'm, oh, shoot, we need to slow down. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, we're good. Um, <laughs> I do like the blinker noises, too. I like those, like, the different tone and, like, mono, I guess, I don't know how to describe it, but I do like that noise a lot better than just a regular blinker noise, so got an explorer up here, I like that Billy the Kid, historical exhibit great, we passed this a while ago, I think alright, yep towards Ros Roswell, that's where we were in our last uh, last, eh oh no, that was a, that was a bad <laughs> that was a bad that was really bad yeah, I don't know why it shook so much, holy cow. I hit him at like four miles an hour and then you get that much shake. Look at that sunset though, that's nice. I don't even know what Billy the Kid is, so yeah, we're not gonna stop in there. But now we gotta wait for this stupid line again. This happened last uh, episode as well, so... Oh, that is always fun. I am tired. Alright, we'll go and wait for this stupid thing and it'll be pitch black by the time we actually move, but does this guy have his beacons on? Why do, would you need your beacon on for a, a gas truck? Like, holy cow. I don't need my beacons on for sand. Alright, we're actually moving. This is beautiful. We've waited how long? I don't know, like four hours. It's already nine o'clock. Brakes, dude. I'm sorry. I wasn't gonna wait anymore. Oh, no. Goodness, I just pitted him. Holy cow. Pit successful. Goodness, I am a terrible driver, man, but I hate that intersection so much, and I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'm impatient, truck driver. All right, all right, all right, all right, don't judge. We're gonna go and get back on the streets. How much longer do we have? Come on, load the game. There we go. All right, <laughs> um, not too long. Just, uh, to Roswell and then down a little bit more, and then we'll be there, hopefully, so, yeah. All right, we are in the city of Roswell, I believe, right now. Because we were at some stoplight here, and there's a lot of traffic, which is not very fun. Oh! Come on, dude. This is terrible. Oh, my God. Yeah, the brakes are really bad on this, that's for sure. I'll tell you that right now. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. We're not doing that, people. Hey, stop coming backwards. I got stop. Go forward. Go. Oh my god, this guy's were so stupid. Go. Oh, you waited through the entire light. Holy cow. My god, dude. Can't even take it. Oh, that's beautiful. I like how he lit up right there. You know what? I'm going. Hopefully I hit you. You're welcome. Who are you supposed to be? Border protection. Nice. Alright, more long lines of traffic and nobody wants to wait in. Oh my god, dude. It is so bad right now. Alright, we're gonna go and get back out and uh, hopefully make it there. Another issue I found out with this truck is it does say it is 200 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm still alive and driving, so that's an issue as well. Um, but other than that, the brakes are really bad. That's my problem that I don't want to fix. And um, yeah, the kilometers and then the no GPS and kind of all that, the lack of customization is just really not, really not a great truck. Um, I do like the outside of it though. I do like the exterior look and everything is just very very nice but you know you can't have quality on the outside and then poopiness on the inside it just doesn't work that way but that's how they did it so you know that's unfortunate but uh at least we're gonna be done with the job now so we won't have to deal with it ever again but <laughs> unless uh, they update it or something happens or we find a better truck that we will be able to go and drive and that'll be more suitable uh did not run it thank you 
But, uh, we are going to go and deliver our job up here, make a left-hand turn, and we will be there. Got to see a little bit of New Mexico. It is the evening time now, though, unfortunately, so we won't be able to see too much of it. But, um, yeah, no. That is about that. We are very, very tired in game as well, so we do need to go and sleep up a little bit too. But that is not a big concern because, again, this is not our regular profile, so I don't know why that guy just went because he clearly doesn't have a green, but, yep, he didn't, so. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Go ahead and go over the train track. I don't know why that guy's just sitting there. He has plenty of room if he wants to go, and that bus is honking at him, so. Don't know what those- oh, those are cones. I was about to say, what are those things? Um, but, yeah, so, no magic or science. I wonder what that is. Chems. Interesting. Nice. A whole little plant here. Alright. I don't even think there was a stop sign there, but I stopped anyways, because I'm a good law-abiding citizen. I'm sure a lot of you just laughed whenever I said that, because you know that's not, not true. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go and turn on in here now. Make a nice, wise swing. And we need to go and park this up right there. I don't like this delivery, because i got to get really close to this wall and everything. The deliveries in these little small places are really hard, but... Yep, there we go. Just had it, but I'll back up a little bit more to straighten out the back end. This way. There we go. Alright, turn off everything and we'll be good to go. Oh, wrong button. T. There we go. Alright, well, that is going to be that. Um, there we go. <laughs> I was about to say what's happening. Alright, 13 grand. Nice, nice, nice. And that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys, of American Truck Simulator. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more. Until next one, guys. Wait for the truck noises. It doesn't happen on this one. Interesting. Peace out. <laughs>